What's up buddies? Welcome to a post team of the year club tour. This is a video I've been very excited to bring to you guys because I'm loving FIFA right now and I swear it's just because of the teams I've built post team of the year. So I want to show you guys all of that stuff, show you guys how we did from the team of the year pack openings. If you've been living under a rock and haven't seen what I've done in terms of my YouTube channel and my pack polls, we did pretty good. But this screen on the back I think kind of shows you that we didn't do that good. I don't even want to talk about how many FIFA points I opened, but let's just say I doubled what I said I would open for the team of the year. And in terms of what I got from packs, I didn't do that great until the very last day. Anyways, the first thing I want to do for you guys is show you obviously my club, how I'm doing, what players I've purchased, obviously what players I've packed. I then want to show you guys what teams I've put together, how I'm doing in divisions, have I been relegated even further from division three, how I'm doing in tournaments, what teams are my favorite, etc, etc. So let's first get into what players we have in the club. As you guys know, or maybe you don't know, I packed pulled Beckenbauer. I've actually used him for four games and I'm actually very happy that I packed him because he's a legend that I never would have got based off of his work rates he's a little short and someone that I just didn't think would be good enough to get into my club and you know what I built a team with him and I hopefully have the team still built I'll show you guys that team but the partnership was Beckenbauer and team of the year Ramos at the back and two defenders with high attacking work rates work incredibly well together this year so I'd highly recommend it needless to say he's an absolutely fantastic card Maldini in my opinion is the best center back in the entire game I've played 57 games with him now absolutely fantastic i got him on a deal as well during the market crash or the price crashes during team of the year so very happy with him and then the perfect partner to maldini contrary to popular belief is no longer in form boateng but laurent blanc i've used every single center back partnering with maldini and that includes beckenbauer yet laurent blanc is the second best I would have to say center back in the game. I might want to include a team of the year Ramos in there, maybe even a Beckenbauer, but honestly, when partnering the best center back in the game, Blanc fits that, and he's absolutely fantastic. Love him. Hero I actually bought for one of my teams. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Haven't even used him yet. George Weah, I absolutely love. Very, very good, versatile player, and he seems to, as you can see, assist a lot, which is something really nice to have in a striker. So I like him. No idea what his price is right now, but you guys let me know in the comments down below what prices these players have have ballooned up to or dropped down to have i overpaid on some players or underpaid or what have i done i think i did pretty good on most players Vieira, i absolutely love in all the teams i use the one thing you need to know with someone like patrick Vieira, or let's say patrick Vieira specifically is that his passing and his shooting is absolute shambles for me and i know he scored four goals i know he has 11 assists but his short passing and his just shots, he seems to push up the field like a lunatic, but then miss chance after chance after chance. So I'd highly recommend you just use him in a holding defensive role or a centrally, uh, you know, central CDM role, essentially. I think I just said essentially about 420 times in one sentence. That's got to be a record. Anyways, moving on to Zanetti, also a card I really, really like, but... I got someone recently in the club, and that means that Zanetti doesn't get into my teams anymore. So I'm actually considering selling Zanetti, although he's nice to have because if I need links uh, with a certain squad builder, you toss Zanetti in there and he helps out a ton. Frank Rijkaard is absolutely fantastic. He was actually my favorite partner to the Inform Boateng, and maybe that's because they both have medium-medium work rates. They're both very similar players. I haven't used this specific Rijkaard because I just purchased him back, but he'll be going into my Dutch team. Larsen, yet another pack pull, and some one again I was considering selling because I just never thought he would get into any of my teams but I built a team around him and he is a pleasure to use an absolute pleasure as you can see from his goal scoring stats from the two games I used uh I think I used him in division two very very good so I really enjoyed him Campbell I purchased for a team haven't used him yet I'll show you guys that team very soon Effenberg is someone I need. I mean, I know, I know. You guys are probably not even worried about Effenberg right now. You're just looking at the rest of the team. I'm very happy with uh, the club that I've managed to put together here. I'm very excited because this account is protected by EA. So fingers crossed we can keep all these players all year long, build up their stats, use them for X amount of months and see, you know, if I can get a thousand goals with Neymar, Messi or Ronaldo, loving everything. But before we get into the team of the years, Effenberg is an absolute gem. Seriously, I use him again in a defensive minded position at halftime I actually drop him into a CDM role and in 18 games to get 10 assists and you know to, to chip in with a goal Absolutely fantastic. If, if you guys are skipping on this card, you really shouldn't. He is absolutely wonderful now Moving on to the gods of the team Leo Messi 
five to ten games in, I would have said wasn't actually that good. I didn't really enjoy him. I'm not entirely sure if it wasn't, if it was because I just didn't know how to use Messi or, you know, maybe I was trying too hard to get goals with, with Neymar. I was trying to, too hard to get goals with Ibra when I was building teams with Messi and Ibra and stuff. I don't know what it was, but for the first little while, I couldn't get Messi to work. Now, as you guys can see, he's starting to roll in the goals. So his first 10 games, he only had like two or three goals and maybe about six assists. And he's really started to catch up with his uh, with his stats in terms of 21 games played and almost the same amount of goals scored. Honestly, I don't think he's the best player in the game. I don't even think he's the best attacker in the game. But he is outstanding. It, I mean, you could argue, again, very similar to, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi in real life. You could argue that this is the best card in the game. He's, he's an absolute pleasure to use. I haven't used Pele, so I have to reserve in terms of who I think is the best striker in the game. But... Anyhow, love this card, uh, 3.5 million. I think I paid a little bit too much. I bought them on the Sunday and I think Team of the Year prices have crashed a little. This card though, lucky enough for me, I didn't have to purchase at all. I got very, very lucky right at the end of the Team of the Year, uh, the, you know, the pack poll Cristiano Ronaldo video. I'll leave a link for you guys in the uh, comments or in the description is one of my best videos in terms of viewership and likes and stuff like that. And I think it was a very emotional video. You know, the way we pulled Ronaldo right at the end, it was literally like our last few coins that we had. We had emptied out everything in terms of FIFA points and this beautiful card popped up out of nowhere. Very emotional, especially to have everyone else, the family in the call and stuff like that. Uh, I really, really am proud of that video. I think I edited it pretty damn well. And Cristiano Ronaldo, I'll show you the team I, I've built around him, but it's safe to say I use him at striker. And he is the best striker I've used in the game. I've used Suarez's uh, orange card. I haven't used his 95 rated card yet. I've used Ibra, as you guys know. I've used tons of cards. I've used Wea. Um, the only other card I haven't used as striker is Pele. But so far, Cristiano Ronaldo's Team of the Year card on 7 chem is far and away the best card I've ever used. This is games only. I'm kind of spoiling what I wanted to talk to you guys and show you guys later on in the video. But these games are only played in Division 1 and Division 2. And... He just crushes the ball into the net consistently. And look at his stats. He's almost got the same amount as assists as, as he has games played as well. So I love him. He's my favorite attacker. I really wanted Neymar to be my favorite attacker because I was most excited to get Neymar uh, from the forwards. Honestly, if, if I wasn't able to afford anyone, I would have bought Neymar. And again, have a look at his stats. No disappointment there at all. I absolutely love him. He is one of my favorite forwards. And until I had actually picked up a Cristiano Ronaldo, he was my favorite forward to use. And, and he kind of still is. I guess I'm just really split. It's it's impossible to choose between three perfect players for FIFA. Honestly, for FIFA Ultimate Team at least. So if someone asked me who my favorite out of the three of these players is, I have no bloody idea, honestly. I, I guess I would say Cristiano because he's pack pulled. You know, I'm, I'm a Madrid supporter to some extent, so that helps a little bit. I use him at striker. He's got great stats and stuff. So I think I would go Ronaldo first, Neymar second, Messi third. But honestly, on another day, I could say Messi first, Neymar second, Ronaldo third. It's just, it's too close to call. Um, Neuer switching over and moving on is disappointing so far. Uh, his regular card is incredible. This card isn't all that great. I don't know what they do to Neuer every single year in terms of his team of the year, but they always seem to break him. And this one is honestly no different so far. So if you're killing yourself, you know, you're, you're a Neuer super fan, I wouldn't say go out and buy him unless you absolutely love him because the value isn't really there. Iniesta is another one I would say is insanely disappointing. I loved his team of the year card last year. I pack pulled him. So maybe there's a bit of bias because he was pack pulled last year. But this card, I'll show you again a team I put together. And I'm going to show you a team that I subbed Iniesta into for another player in the same position. And he, I just couldn't get him into the game. That 98 passing, 96 dribbling, I didn't find him all that great. So I don't know if I can say I, I would recommend him. And I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, you're just a Madrid fanboy. I'm uh, Trust me, I'm not being biased. I'm just giving you guys my honest opinions. And trust me, you'll, you'll see my op honest opinions very soon here. Thiago Silva, I don't have an opinion on because I've never used him. Sergio Ramos is genuinely a player I didn't think would be good. Now, you look at his stats and sure, that's all fantastic. But it's his work rates and his height that I thought would really hurt him. And, and his weak foot isn't that great either. But again, him parch parchered partnered with Beckenbauer honestly my second favorite center back partnership my first as you guys know is Maldini Blanc my second favorite is uh Beckenbauer and Timidia Ramos so 
pleasantly surprised surprised with Ramos. Okay, so now the Madrid, you know, uh, I guess fanboyism is gonna is gonna ring true here because honestly, ask Nepenthes, ask a bunch of other people. It's not just me. This card, I thought I thought De Bruyne was my favorite center attacking mid center mid in the game in terms of an attacking minded midfielder, but. Modric is slowly but surely taking his place. Again, divisions games only, and he performs outstandingly well. I absolutely love him. And then, segueing perfectly, is the second card that I was most excited to get from the team of the year. Neymar was the first one that I really, really wanted. And then Pogba was the second one, or the next one, that I really, really, really was looking forward to getting. But... I've been so disappointed in him. And I know you look at his stats and you think, well, Nick, that's actually not that bad from a center mid. I use him as a central center mid and, you know, make him move up the field like a cam. But he missed endless amounts of sitters. That just broke my brain. Now, three games isn't a long time, uh, you know, a, a long time to tell whether he's good or not. So I'm going to save it. I'll wait till another 20, 30 games to give you guys my definitive answer on whether or not Pogba is worth it. But... For the time being, his regular card feels the exact same, and, I, and that's not high praise for a card with those types of stats, but I just didn't find him that effective in the field. Uh, he got set up endlessly by Messi and Ronaldo and Neymar, and just in, in a game that I really needed him to score, he had like three open net chances, or right in front of net chances, and didn't put them away. Whether that's my fault or not, I don't know, but I was a little salty by that. As always, Ibra's always going to be one of my favorite uh, attackers in the game. I absolutely love this card. His goal scoring stats are incredible. Unfortunately, I don't think the race to get Ibra to a thousand goals this card is going to happen anymore. The race is going to turn into the Neymar team of the year, Messi team of the year, Ronaldo team of the year race to a thousand goals, but still love that card. Here we go. So here's where I guess I prove to you guys that there's no Madrid bias. Danny Alves is a card that I bought because I just wanted him. I wanted all the team of the year players and someone that I didn't think would be good at all. I thought I would be using Zanetti. I thought I'd be using like, you know, maybe, maybe Danilo or there's a whole bunch of right backs. Inform Law. Never thought I'd be using Danny Alves because he's really high rated. He brings your team up really high. He's got high, low work rates. But this card, I've, there you go. I've used him for 24 games is incredible he feels like he has medium medium work rates i i kid you not his pace is incredible his free kicks are incredible his delivery is incredible his defending is incredible his strength is incredible honestly best right back i've used in maybe any fifa absolutely fantastic so really really happy with him and marcelo is no different uh, i knew i was gonna love this card i absolutely love the regular marcelo he's my favorite left back in the game then the inform marcelo came out he was my favorite card in the game and this team of the year is no different no one in my opinion i haven't used roberto carlos yet though so save that if you will but so far no one has been better than marcelo at left back for me i absolutely love that card uh the 75th inform godin i think i've only used for two games yeah didn't find him that great but nep swears by him so you know you know there's gonna be a difference of opinions there i have a team built around him so i'll probably use that team for a little bit and see how much i like him bail again proving to you guys that my madrid bias or there isn't a madrid bias this card just like his other inform pisses me off. I don't understand why this card does not translate in FIFA. He does not feel good. I don't really like him. As you guys can see, he's not scoring really goals for me. He's getting a few assists here and there, but I swapped out because there was a moment in time, as I explained to you guys, I know I'm talking a lot, but a lot of you guys really enjoy these, you know, live, somewhat edited anyways, but uh, club tours where I talk to you guys about my experiences with top rated players or low rated players and stuff like that So I'm just gonna keep going if you are enjoying this smash the like button boys if we can get you know Three or four thousand likes that would be beautiful or even three or four likes I'd be grateful for that But anyways, I subbed out Messi when he wasn't doing good for me And he was you know on ten games with a few goals and six assists something like that And I brought in the second and fourth bail thinking okay This card is gonna help me out help me win more games and he was bloody abysmal. Again, missing chances, dribbling, dribbling like he had cement shoes on. I don't know what it is, man. I, you know, the three-star weak foot isn't very nice either. You know, if it's on, if you're on the right side of the field, you have to try and force it onto his left foot to send in like an in-swinging cross as opposed to an out-swinging cross. So, not a very versatile player. However, I did really enjoy the inform bail as a left center mid. And there's somewhere that I know, you know, you guys can call me Nepenthes or whatever you want because he does that too. I've been putting players in weird positions for a couple of years as well. So, you know, don't just give me that saying I'm copying other people. I do it too. And I have to say that Gareth Bale as a left center mid is one of the best left center mids I've used other than maybe Effenberg and, and a few other players. So I'd recommend him there. 
It's kind of crazy to put a, you know, 600k player at left center mid, but he definitely does well there. De Bruyne, as always, is incredible. I mean, you see those stats. He still is up there in terms of my favorite player. I still think he is my favorite player, even though I'm really enjoying uh, Luka Modric's Team of the Year card, but who knows? Team of the season, I'm going to be looking forward to getting that De Bruyne. That's going to be an incredible card, but I'll never sell that card. Very happy that I managed to find the highest, I think this is the third in form or second in form, Sanchez. Fresh as a daisy. I actually bought this card for his cheapest price a week ago? About a week, uh, something like that anyways. For his cheapest price and fresh. I would have paid 600k for this card because it's insanely rare to find it a card like this fresh, unused. Who the hell packs this or purchases this and sits on it for that long? Di Maria, I purchased obviously to link up with Ibra. And I do have to say is a big disappointment. I like Di Maria as a cam. Uh, his regular card was pretty good. I found him very effective. But again, maybe it's the two-star weak foot. I, maybe it's the fact that he feels really weak. His dribbling feels odd. His shooting isn't the greatest. Again, 10 goals from 25 games as a right forward, which is essentially, you know, uh, one of three strikers in your team. And only 10 goals, I'm not too happy with that. So I don't find him all that great. I don't know if I'd recommend him for you guys. Again, if we get a team of the season, Di, Di Maria, that might change everything though. Uh, Gonzalo Higuain, I've only used him for one game, so I can't really commentate too much on him. But the one game that I did use him in, and I did use him in for three, about three or four games on my Poor Man Road to Glory series, I don't find him that great. I actually don't find him that great. His passing is a nice surprise, but otherwise his finishing isn't uh, the best. Petr Cech, 9 out of 10 games, I think he's incredible, and then it seems like that 1 or sometimes 2 games out of 10 where you really need him to turn up, like a, a final game in a season where you need the points to promote or to win the title, and he just lets in soft goals. So I don't know if that's just the game mechanics and how it works out, but I would still give a uh, record breaker check a 8 or 9 out of 10. He's a very good goalkeeper, and... 10 times better than Neuer. Isco is just a super sub. Verratti, again, I use him just to link up with, you know, with Di Maria and when I want to use Ebron, stuff like that. Second and form, Koscielny, I don't think I've ever even used. No, we I bought him for 89,000 coins. How how cheap is that? Seriously, during the team of the year crash. Excited. I haven't used him yet, though. He'll make it into a certain team. Oscar, I packed. Probably won't use him for a while. Uh, Hamshik, I packed. And you know what? Used him for a game. Fantastic. Really enjoyed him. Jonas, A9 skills loves. I don't think I've even used him yet. No. Nangolin, one of my favorite box-to-box uh, -box midfielders in the game. I actually don't have much use for Raja Nangolin anymore. The way I use my teams and build my teams. Uh, because I use my wide center mids now as defensive-minded midfielders. Which I'm sure Nangolin is fantastic at. But I just feel bad wasting his, uh, his incredible shooting and dribbling and passing stats. Uh, from there, Sterling is a pack pull and a card I, I, I actually do enjoy. Again, you look at these stats... And maybe you think that I'm a bit of a hypocrite because car other cards with similar stats I say are bad. Raheem Sterling I say is pretty good, but I genuinely enjoy using him. He causes a lot of problems for players. You know, he can sweat it off and, and, and get a lot of like secondary and third chances and stuff like that from Sterling. So I would recommend him. Uh, Felipe Luis I packed recently and uh, mm, eh, there's a hell of a lot better players uh, for cheaper than him. The second in form, Kurzawa, however, and you'd look at these stats and think, okay, well, they're pretty much the same. Why do you think that Felipe Luis isn't good and Kurzawa is? But Kurzawa just translates on, on the field, honestly. Lukaku's in form? I hate to say this as someone that, you know, likes the Belgian national team, you know, has a bunch of family that lives in Belgium. I'm not that impressed by his inform at all. I, I, I thought his, his regular card was just as effective. Ben Arfa, you guys have seen before. I haven't really done anything else with him. Uh, Kaylor Navas, as I've told you guys before, is a huge surprise. Fantastic goalkeeper. Probably the best goalkeeper in the BBVA. Carrasco, I haven't really used. Martial, we packed recently, and I haven't used him yet, but I'll, I'll, I'll build a team around him. Ben Yedder, we packed as well, and I've used him on a few other accounts. And I need to say, in terms of a cheap, effective player, use him. Honestly, just use him. He is so good. That five-star weak foot, four-star skills is super, super, super useful. Uh, Bellerin and Van Hanholt, again, you guys know how much I love them, and I'm, I'm not going to sell them even if Bellerin gets a gold in form. I might buy that card as well, but I'm always going to keep his, uh, his silver. There you go. Almost 100 games played with that silver. And then after that, not that much impressive stuff. We've got a pack-pulled Robin... Uh, a pack pulled uh, Luis Suarez, who again, I think is fantastic. A lot of people have said Luis Suarez's informs are crappy, um, but his gold is really, really good, like his regular gold card. And I do have to digress. I, I agree with that. This card is very, very good, but in the draft, whenever I use his upgraded cards, 
I never find them all that great. We got a pack pulled in. Pretty much everything else here is just all pack pulled everything. So nothing all that special, you know, going on from here. But let's show you guys the division stats. I think that's more important than anything. So, so here we are. If you guys didn't see moving into it, I'm back in division one. And it's thanks to the team I'm using right now. It's it's absolutely incredible. I was wallowing in Division 3 for the longest time. Just kept on drawing stupid games. Kept on creeping closer and closer to Division 2. Or getting into Division 2 and getting relegated. Now you may look at my stats and say, Well, how are you getting relegated and not doing well? You know, constantly dropping out of Division 1. But your record is still okay, I think. You know, a 2-1 to win-loss ratio is, is decent. My biggest issue, and I mean, honestly, look at someone like Bateson's account. I actually have a better seasons record right now than, than Bateson, and Bateson's won Division 1 like two, three, four times on his account. My biggest issue is freaking draws. Games where I like need to win and should win and maybe even deserve to win, I always end up drawing them to late goals and stuff like that so that's my crux right now is drawing needless amounts of games so i think i'm doing better i'm gonna try and make uh, another division one push with my uh, with my current team and i do want to show you guys that so it's a fresh it's a fresh division one approach and this is the team that's going to get us the coveted division one kit so nepenthes and bates and the plebs stop abusing me Okay, make fun of me endlessly saying I can't win division one So if this team doesn't do it and how well I'm playing right now doesn't do it Then you know what? I'm just not good enough and I don't deserve to win division one, but this team is going to do it uh, It's incredible the way I set the team up is I have it act like a 4-2-3-1 and when I say act like a 4-2-3-1 I don't really have that many instructions on my players I just have Danny Alves set to stay back and crazily enough He actually does stay back and defends greatly and then I have Marcelo on balance and I just like Marcelo's shooting and passing more than Alves and that's maybe just a personal preference not to say that it's necessarily better but I would rather have Marcelo move up the field and then Danny Alves stay back and, and defend the back line I then have my wide center mids even they both have medium high work rates already and then I set them on stay back while attacking and then at the halftime I actually drop them a little bit deeper so they turn into CDMs even on the team sheet and then Marcelo I actually have set up as uh, push forward and get into the box for crosses and what that does and free roam what that does is it basically at the start of the game it turns them into a center attacking mid in this formation and it's absolutely perfect Messi Ronaldo and Neymar I don't think I actually do not think I have any instructions on them maybe Ronaldo I have to set as a target man there you go set as target man for Ronaldo nothing else balanced everything on Neymar and balanced everything on Messi there you go I knew that so no stats on no instructions on those players at all and they perform as you guys saw with their stats incredibly well this is far and away as it really should be and I'm happy to report back to you guys that this is far and away my favorite team and all of these players perform absolutely incredibly well and this is the moment where I got to give a little cringy round of applause to EA because we all remember in years past when you built teams like this and all the players played like garbage and you know bronze teams or silver teams or super low rated gold teams would play 10 times better than these guys 99% of the time these players just destroy people and one thing I do have to say a lot of people I'm sure are spamming the comments right now saying oh my god look at that bronze bench you bastard yes I have a bronze bench on this team and I don't do it. I don't play single matches So I don't bronze bench to get easy opponents or lower rated teams in single matches to just you know Boost these guys ratings the only goal scoring stats The only reason I do it is because if I put my regular players into this team that I would use for substitutions and stuff like that This team turns into a 94 rated squad and I have to say When it's a 94 rated squad and I'm in higher divisions or even in cup finals and stuff like that I start feeling some crazy shit. Now, whether that's a placebo effect and me just thinking because it's a really high rated team that there's some sort of scripting or momentum or handicapping system. Now, a lot of people think those are different meanings. I group them all into the exact same thing. Whether you want to call momentum being in the game from 45th minute goals that you can also call scripted or EA handicapping or 90th minute cheese goals. To me, that's all the same thing. But this team suffers in that, you know, uh, three word description. Let's just call it momentum for the time being this team suffers heavy momentum going against it Whenever it's 94 rated the second I put these bronze players into it. I've used this team for about Well, let's who's who's the lowest used player. I think that'll probably be messy, right? Yeah, so I've used this team for over 20 games now and I don't notice any type of scripting if I lose games 
I'll lose games to some bullshit, to some guy sitting on ultra defensive and hitting me on the counter. But most of the times, if I lose games, it's because I can't finish my chances or I just have a horrific spell of defending. So that's just my, you know, I guess review of this team. Safe to say it's a 10 out of 10. It's absolutely incredible. So this is called the Dream 4. Let me show you guys the other teams. I, I got to adjust things around. My Bay formation right now is 4-3-3, or 4-3-3-2, 4-3-2-1 far and away my favorite formation and i'm going to be shifting all of my teams into that setup very soon so i'll be shifting these guys into it as well uh so becoming belgian that's always going to be the highest rated belgian players hala madrid actually i think is pretty much complete so there's the hero i decided to slot him into the team so i wanted to do best possible madrid, best possible madrid team including legends uh we're gonna get an informed carvajal and the third informed benzema for this team this week I have to say though, this is not an ultimate team team. This team plays terribly. Um, I hate to say it, but it really does play absolutely awfully. Uh, and I think it comes down to the midfield. Modric is incredible. James is incredible on his own and in different teams. And to some extent, Tony Cruz is really good, uh, you know, in separate teams. But as a trio, I guess very similar to real life. These guys let me down big time in terms of their defending abilities. And it's, it's natural. Not, none of these guys are really built uh, to properly defend like a Vieira, like a, you know, Manu Matic in FIFA, or, you know, like a, even a, a Mathaus or something like that. So this team isn't that great. Honestly, it's kind of just as a vanity team, as, as a bit of a Madrid supporter. I always have every single year the best possible Madrid team. So this year is going to be no different. And this is a team I'll probably just play against my subs. The Dream 2, I can't remember is this the uh beckenbauer no okay so this is the team that i built to test out iniesta and this is the team after three or four games that i discovered that iniesta was super disappointing when compared to modric and i i don't know i'll have to use them a little bit more but for the time being i don't find iniesta uh all that worth it can you guys take a guess at who this is the biggest choke artist in world football i'm sure most of you guys would agree is part of my blood half of my blood if that uh my mother's side of the family the dutch national team i think that's a perfect description of the netherlands over the last 40 years maybe that's the dutch setup and then there's the other one that i wanted to show you guys so this is the team i'm slowly putting together our best possible arsenal team cue people from my streams calling me a closet arsenal fan when i'm not I'm a Leeds United fan, and then a bit of a Madrid supporter when Leeds piss me off. Yes, call me a glory hunter, I don't really care. Um, but for the time being, I, I do enjoy watching Arsenal, and I do enjoy seeing them do well. So um, I am going to build uh, a full best possible Arsenal team with Legends to play against my subs as well. So very happy with the setup so far. Every player is fresh and awesome. Uh, I haven't been able to find a second inform Ozil fresh or a Bergkamp fresh, but I'm still looking. So those are the teams we got. Honestly, I would say if you have infinity coins or an absolute baller and you don't know what team is going to do well for you, you know, and you feel like all of your expensive players are playing like shit, ha! put this together. It's absolutely insane. I'd highly recommend it. Or even just a non-informed version of this team, you know, with a couple of legends. Fit those guys in there. You'll be doing great. You know, get yourself even like... Effenberg and Gattuso and then any really legend center back partnership with all of these other guys as non-informs you know still Neymar Messi and Ronaldo are going to be expensive but semi-affordable versus their team of the year so that's the setup we're using um honestly that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys as well I really hope you enjoyed this video I know for the most part especially through me describing the players and and everything um you know and and my teams I didn't really edit anything in fact I think I may have even left in all my mistakes and stuff like that but I hope you enjoyed it uh, I love you guys thank you so much for the support on my channel the views probably thanks to team of the year and likes and stuff have been absolutely mental. So hopefully this video is no different. If you did enjoy this video, remember to smash the like button. I appreciate all the support on my channel. I'm going to do my best, boys, to keep the compilations coming. The, well, collaborations with other YouTubers coming. Original series is only for YouTube coming. So more pack gods coming. New player road to glory coming. Can you guys guess who it's going to be around? Probably someone in this team. I love you guys. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!